What is up guys, my name is Smash Proxy and welcome to another episode of Sakura Beach 2 and you can also call me Match and last episode we had an encounter with Nene again and we we saw Nene or buckets of water on top of Momoko which looked really, it, it was cute but fucked up because we now know that Nene's a prankster which I love about it girl <laughs> <It's getting on. laughs> Let's see, after, let's continue. After an eventful day, I'm just lying in bed and enjoying some peace and quiet. Then it has some, has made an interesting introduction. Though things haven't gone quite according to plan, Ayumi seems to not trust her at all. Momoko was fairly upset about having that bucket dumped on her, on her too. Ow, sorry, I didn't even crack my neck. My neck was hurting so much for some reason. Too much sleep, or, well, I didn't sleep well. Maybe it's jealousy of, or her being overly protective? Since the confession, I think I may have been able to read how girls think a little bit better. Only a little bit though. I still can't read Nene and she throws me off completely. Momoko seems to think there's no problem but it, it's Momoko. She's probably one of the most accepting people I know. Reflecting back on the previous night, Nene did seem awkward. But I had no idea that it was this bad. I couldn't read the atmosphere at all, asked ridiculous, ridiculous questions in that reading. The only question I can ask myself is why? What caused Nene to, do, to be so awkward? She also seemed to be aware of it. In her own words, she said she knew she wasn't typical. My phone buzzes. Oh, I got a text. It's from Nene. Hey, are you there? Yeah, what's up? I'm so glad you responded. Do you want to go stargazing tonight? Stargazing? Well, Ayumi would be opposed to the, to the idea, obviously. But I did bring my telescope this time. So maybe... So maybe it'd be worth going out again. Honestly, I can't leave without informing Ayumi and Momoko. Also, cautiously, I knock on their door. If I didn't hear anything, then I'm just going to re presume there's no, there's no one there. What? What is this noise? I can't really tell what it is, but it sounds soft. Part of me wants to want to open the door, but the other part of me tells me that I should absolutely not open that door. I guess my curiosity has beaten me at this time. Opening the door, just a fa fraction, I peek inside. Oh shit, what's gonna show? Hey! That's the pillow fight. Okay. If not, if that's like, holy damn, what the hell is that pillow fight? Oh my. This music. Oh my god. I guess they're having fun? Is that sweat? No, it's just stars and sparkles. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see. So that's what the noise was. Two of them are having a pillow fight. Closed as they usually are when they're both alone in their room. Wait, pillow fight? If they're doing that, then how did they survive? But it looks harmless though. They're having too much fun and haven't noticed me. Take that, Ayumi. Don't think I'll let you win this time, too. Too. We must settle this once and for all. Huh, we already know what the outcome will be. Princess Momoko will rescue her Senji from the wi witch wicked witch and live happily ever after. Ayumi brings down her pillow over her head like a sledgehammer. But why am I that wicked witch? It's just how it is. Ayumi seems to get irritated. You call me wicked when you have such an indecent bounty, Momoko. Using her pillow as a shield, Ayumi blocks Momoko over. Holding her in place, Ayumi places her hands on Ayumi's chest. Look at these things! Watermelons would be jealous of these thighs. Oh, that's, that's a low blow, Ayumi. You're just jealous that Senji doesn't stare at your chest as much as mine. W what are you talking about? Why would I want him to stare at my chest? You know why. Momoko throws the pill at Ayumi's face and her hands immediately charge towards her top. With a split second, her bra is unhooked. Oh my god. Senji, get out. Get out while you can! Get out while you can! N no fair! That's fighting dirty! 
All is fair in love and war. I told you that before, after all. A fight won with honor is worth more than one with dishonor. How could you say that when there's a fruit, her fruit is bouncing all over? Did I mention he should run? <laughs> These perverted thoughts won't leave me alone. They do as a mock fight continues. They, they really are bouncing at you. <laughs> God. Like you can talk, Queen of the Jelly Mounds. Oh my God, nice. Jelly Mounds. Don't give me, don't give them a name like that. They'll be called the Jelly Mounds for as long as I'm called the Wicked Witch. What a childish nickname. But when I look at them, they do remind me of Jelly Jelly a little. Nope. I need to close the door. The fact that I've been unable to control myself is shameful. I quietly close the door. That was interesting. Yeah, dude! You survived! Holy shit, dude. There was once he opened the door and nothing... Oh my god. And in the end, there was no pillow to the face either. Just just pretend you didn't see anything. I think I can wait a little bit longer until I la ask them about Nene. After a little while, I woke up to the courage to knock on their door. Hey, are you me, Momoko? What do you want, you fool? What is the matter, Sinji? Then I wanted to go stargazing again. I'm going to head out. I'm going to be heading out, so... The door busts open, smacking me in the face. Absolutely not! You're staying here where I can keep my eye on you, you fool. I, I take a moment to recover from the blunt trauma my face has just experienced. Somehow my face has been able to shrug it off somehow. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Good thing you're getting used to it. It's a good thing. With a face like this, I should survive anything. Who knows what kind of decent things you do with a girl when you're all alone with her? What? What? It's not like that, Ayumi. She's just a friend, isn't she? That has nothing to do with it. You can't go alone. And that is final. Ayumi, why are you yelling? This fool wants to go out stargazing with that strange girl. And I refuse to allow it. Oh, that sounds like fun. If there's no, if there's a problem, then why don't we just go? Why don't we all just go? Exactly. Yeah, I, I'll go. But the solution works out for works for everyone, doesn't it? You're able to make sure Sandy doesn't do anything indecent. Why do you have so little faith of me? I just know you, silly. As much as you pretend that you aren't looking, whatever I stop that indecent behavior. It's normal for someone, to, someone so hot-blooded not to be able to ignore my beautiful figure. I am not a pervert. Stop trying to create this inappropriate image of me. An image is only what you reflect on the, out to the world, silly. And I know all too well what you reflect. That's okay. You're still my adorable, precious, silly Cindy no matter what. Put my face in my palm. Just... Are you okay with me going or not? Momoko quickly pulls Ayumi over and whispers into her ear. I think it would be fine then. What's with the sudden change of heart? We, we worked out a comprom compromise for the situation. A special compromise. Am I allowed to know what this compromise is? Absolutely not. I know it. They plan to do something sneaky. You have nothing to worry about, Senji. A compromise will not interfere with your date at all. Who, who said it was a date? Ayumi seems to get really mad when she hears that. Mamako, how dare you call this a date? That sounds like jealousy, Ayumi. Ayumi just quietly booms, booms herself. Anyway, Senji, you have my full blessing to go. Quickly, make haste. Hang on, let me hear. Let me let me tell her what time first. I quickly reply to her message. I can go tonight. See you in an hour. Sure. There. None. You best not do anything with her, Senji. I know I... I will know if you do. I won't. Really, I won't. That remains, that remains to be seen. I don't understand why I'm reacting like this. Then it's just a friend, right? Nothing to worry about. I don't do something shameless like to, to someone who's just a friend. You don't do shameless things at all? At least not on purpose. 
Of course it's on purpose. It could happen. But she's just a friend. It won't happen, right? Okay. Trust issues. What the fuck, man? Okie dokie. This is, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And... I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sakura Beach 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Bye.